The Champions League returns this week, the second leg of the round of 16. Some of the biggest teams in Europe facing off against each other. Some will be going through, some will be going out. And in this video, I'm going to give you my predictions for those games. However, before we get into it, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to like. And if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. Bayern Munich or B Salzburg. This is quite an interesting fixture, seen as the first leg did end one all. Now, the favourites Bayern Munich for the tournament could be going out in this round. Let's be honest, though. Bayern Munich will not be going out in this game. They're playing at home and with the quality of players they have, I don't think Salzburg will be strong enough to hold them back. I'm going to say Bayern Munich are going to win this game 3-1 thanks to a Robert Lewandowski brace and a Leroy Sané goal. And for Salzburg, I'll say Kareem Adeyemi will score their goal. Liverpool versus Inter Milan. They hold a 2-0 lead versus the Italian side and they're going back to Anfield. I really don't see them slipping up. Inter will still be without Barella who was sent off in the group stages. I mean, Liverpool were terrible in the first leg and still managed to win 2-0. So you reckon if they put in a decent performance, they'll go through in this tie. And I reckon Liverpool will go true thanks to a goal from Diogo Jota and Luis Diaz. A 2-0 win, 4-0 on aggregate and Liverpool will advance to the quarterfinals. Man City versus Sporting Lisbon and if Sporting Lisbon managed to come back from 5-0 down versus Man City I will sell my left testicle. City will be without Ruben Diaz but Laporte and John Stones are two quality defenders and I think they'll manage. This game will start with a bit of fight. There will be a bit of hunger from Sporting Lisbon and Pedro Goncalves will put Sporting Lisbon 1-0 up. Then Manchester City will wake up and they will end up putting 5 goals past the Sporting Lisbon goalkeeper and winning this game 5-1. And you heard it here first, Bernardo Silva will score a hat-trick in this match and then the Pietenbrand merchant will also get on the score sheet. Real Madrid versus PSG is probably the most interesting tie of this year's round of 16. PSG take a one goal advantage to the Bernabeu thanks to a last minute Kylian Mbappe goal. I look at this tie and I think this is going to be down to how Lionel Messi performs in this match. He's picked up his form for PSG getting involved with more goals when he's been at the Bernabeu before. We all know how many magic moments he has produced and I reckon Lionel Messi will get on the score sheet in this match in a one all draw. Benzema will get Real Madrid's goal and then PSG will end up going through. Man United versus Atletico Madrid. On aggregate it is one all and Atletico Madrid come to Old Trafford. I backed them in the first leg and I'm going to back them in the second leg. Though they're not in the best of form United aren't either. But Atletico Madrid have always had this ability to just grind through games. I reckon they'll get an early goal thanks to Luis Suarez and then they will sit back for the rest of the match and grind out a one nil win sending them through to the quarter finals. And I'm also going to predict that Yannick Carrasco will get sent off in this match. Ajax versus Benfica. Ajax are at home. It's two all in aggregate. I would fancy them to go through in this round. And don't get me wrong, Benfica do have quality. I like the look of Darwin Nunes. I think he has the potential to be a top, top striker. But I just think Ajax will be too strong for them, seeing as they are playing at home. I reckon the atmosphere will be absolutely electric. I'm going to say Sebastian Haller to score a brace and a 2 0 win for Ajax. Juventus Villarreal. And in my first leg predictions, I said I saw this game going to penalties, and I'm going to stick with that. I reckon in the first 19 minutes, it's going to be nil all. Then in extra time, there will be two goals, one for both sides, and then it will go to penalties with Juventus eventually going through. Chelsea versus Lille. The first leg wasn't really remembered for its football, more so for Christian Pulisic's terrible attempt at what the hip young kids call these days the gritty. I don't think Chelsea will be comfortable in this match. I reckon Lille will take the lead thanks to Renato Sanchez. However, that will be the only goal in the match, leaving it 2-1 on aggregate and Chelsea going through to the quarterfinals. So that was my Champions League round the 16 second leg predictions. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments what would you change how many am i gonna get wrong probably all of them if you did enjoy the video make sure to like and if you are new to the channel please do consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one